Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Dave Gearhart, and I'm so happy to see you all here tonight. I guess I've got this. Uh, do I need this? Let's not need that. All right. So the first piece we played is a piece that is actually uh, from New Orleans, Ico Ico. It dates back to 1953, and actually has a, a rhythm called the second line, which is uh, traditional in New Orleans. Tonight what I've done is I picked a program that features music from all over the world and uh, shows the different musical styles that we, that we play. The next tune is a tune, uh, so that first tune was from New Orleans, the second tune is from uh, Cuba and features Afro-Cuban music, and it's a tune by Eddie Palmieri called Oye Lo Que Te Conviene.
thank you. The next tune we're going to play is a calypso from the island of Trinidad. It's actually written by uh, Andy Norell. Andy Norell is one of the foremost uh, composers and performers on steel drum who grew up in New York. He started playing pan around the age of eight. And he wrote this piece in the style of a Trinidad panorama. Panorama is a festival that happens in Trinidad every year that uh, right before Lent, it's their big steel drum festival. And the festival, uh, bands from all over the island come and compete and play a 10 minute uh, theme and variation piece. And the bands are 100 to 120 steel drum players and they march through the city of uh, Port of Spain and end up in the Savannah and they play these competitions. And this uh, piece is written in the style of one of those panorama tunes and this is called Play One for Keith. Thank you. 
next tune is a tune that I wrote uh, earlier in February. I did a residency at the University of Texas at Austin and worked with their steel band there. And uh, as part of that, I wrote this piece. One of the things that I find when I write uh, pieces, and, and I've talked to other composers, sometimes the hardest thing about writing the piece is titling the piece. Um, you know, I think Beethoven and Mozart had it easy when they could just say symphony number five or symphony number six, because it was just the next one in, in the line. But for a composer that's writing programmatic music, it's, it's, we have to come up with a title for it. So I always uh, struggle with this more than, than writing the tune. And uh, one day I was, uh, I've got a 15 month old at home and, and we were playing on the floor one day and, and it just happened, so it came to my mind that, that he really likes monkeys. And when he was really young, he had a little monkey and uh, uh, as it just kind of progressed, he got other monkeys, you know, and someone said, oh, his favorite thing's a monkey, so let's give him more monkeys. So now he has all these monkeys. He's got this little tree where he puts little monkeys in. I mean, it's kind of out of control, but one of his favorite things is monkeys. So I, I wrote this piece as a tribute to him, and uh, this is called uh, Samba de los Changuitos.
notice that that featured a uh, Brazilian bateria. A bateria is a collection of drums, and uh, we're moving around. That was Afro-Brazilian music from Brazil, so the samba. Um, featured a little bit different rhythm section. The rhythm sections in the different styles changed, so when we played the Afro-Cuban piece, the Oyelo, uh, it featured the congas and the drum set. Uh, when we played the, uh, the third tune, the play one for Keith, the Calypso, it featured uh, the drum set and the congas and actually a brake drum, which is just a brake drum from a car, um, an older car, uh, that, that you would play with sticks and it would have a metallic sound. So that uh, are the different rhythm sections kind of define the styles of music that we're playing. Um, the next piece is a piece that uh, was written by a friend of mine who uh, teaches in Austin. He, uh, he directs a middle school and high school steel drum bands. That's his full-time job, and they have a pretty big steel drum community in Austin. He, actually has a, he also has a uh, steel drum community group called Inside Out Steel Drum Band. And he's traveled to uh, uh, Trinidad many times and played in the Panorama Festivals. And uh, one of his favorite places to eat when he goes to Trinidad is a restaurant called Patraj. So, uh, the next tune uh, in, is influenced by Indian music as well as Cuban music, and the title of the piece is Patraj.
By now, you've probably noticed all the cameras, and you may be wondering what's going on with all the different cameras. Uh, actually, the film department is filming this concert, and they're, uh, they're, doing, they're practicing, basically. They're uh, practicing shooting a live show, so they've got a crew in the back that's, uh, that's directing the show, and, and they're doing a live-to-tape show, and uh, we'll be able to see what the final project is afterwards. Uh, before we continue, I would like to thank uh, Rebecca for setting this up, and uh, I don't know if she's out here, but thank you to Rebecca for, for working with us and doing this, as well as their faculty advisor, Tom Bloomquist. Uh, we really appreciate this, and I can't wait to see the final product. Um, also, before we play the last piece, I'd like you to turn to the back of your program. In the back of your program, we've been uh, working on a new website as well as a newsletter for the Steel Drum Orchestra and the Percussion Program. So I'd like you to all uh, go to the website, check it out. It will be updated uh, over spring break and as we continue through the semester with videos and pictures of uh, concerts that we do. Uh, we will also be doing all of our newsletters through there. So there will, if you've gotten a newsletter in the past through the mail, we sent one out this week, and that will be the last one that you'll be receiving. Uh, just because of budget reasons, it's easier to send out an email than it is to send out 3,000 uh, mailers every semester. So please sign up for that, and uh, you'll be on the list. We'll also be giving out a couple tickets to our next concert. And our next concert for the Steel Drum Orchestra is April 28th, 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock in here. In the Daniel Recital Hall, we'll be doing um, a full two-hour performance with uh, 15 or 16 different steel drum uh, pieces, so I hope you'll be able to join us for that. And our last piece before we go on to the African Ensemble is uh, Yankees Gone. Thank you very much.
take a brief intermission and be back with the African Ensemble. Thank you.
I saw them jumping up and down during their Seal Tan concert, and they just carried that right into our African dancing. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, we only get about seven weeks to work with these lovely students, and they really put in a lot of time, a lot of effort, and the classes are late at night, and they stay later, and you know they're always trying to learn a little bit more, and that says a lot about each and every one of you. And um, you know, to Andrew and Paul, the other two in this group, um, they've definitely been, a, I think, a really great role model for the whole class. And I can't say enough about my co-partner here, and also uh, David, wherever he's going to, I don't know where you're at. And um, one last thing, if um, we can get a big round of applause for Dr. Carney, who's not here tonight, but you know what? Without him, we wouldn't have all this great music. He's touched so many of our lives. <laughs>